what happened here? Um, is, you know, was there something behind the scenes with Brock and, and the management team there that came home to roost when it did come time for him to decide whether to take less money to stay? Well, first of all, yes. Uh, there was a lot going on here. I mean, you know, it'd be naive to say that, that Brock Osweiler was really happy with the Broncos this season with the way things planned out. I mean, he was the starting quarterback for seven games. He put himself on the cover of Sports Illustrated, brought them back from the abyss, and then saw a Super Bowl defense taken out from under him because he was kind of mediocre. Um, because he was kind of mediocre, um, you know, for really a half. I mean, that's just the reality of it. So um, it, it'd be tough to imagine anyone, including Brock Osweiler, would not be upset uh, because of how it transpired. Mm -hmm. But still, money talks. Obviously, that's the most important thing. The Broncos could have ended this much earlier if they offered him the deal that the Texans did a week ago. $18 million was always his target once the Texans hit it. Uh, that was really that. The other part of this is, not to make it even more complicated, by around 11 a.m. yesterday, people close to Brock Osweiler thought he was signing with the Broncos. Really? So, so, so all those things are true, and still he thought he would end up with the Broncos before the Texans stepped up. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.